DGC 2015, winner's bracket final. Energy, Stefan Neffan, what can you tell me? Uh, we're just ecstatic to be to have won that. Uh, I don't think we we necessarily expected. We just we gave our best and we got the result. Uh, I must admit, uh, starting off on obviously at, well in train originally was what some of the things I looked at and just the game style play. Sometimes going backwards and forwards, but always in line with it, never really letting go. The the big difference was actually Inferno. More of a bravado map, or would you say actually your kind of pick? Um, that was actually one of. Bravado's picks, uh, so they got to choose between Overpass and uh, Inferno, and they went for Inferno. I think they are probably considered the best on Inferno in the country, but today we took it. No, it was absolutely excellent. If you have to look at the general play and just the things that you're doing, uh, what did you guys do differently to come into this? I mean, MGMS a couple of weeks ago, well, last week even, and uh, previously at Axe when you guys won it, what has uh, changed obviously besides the players and your general practice strategies? Um, previously, we were a bit predictable in our aggression, but we've swapped that up. We we will randomly play passive and then move into an aggression play, or we'll just play passive the whole round, which is kind of new to us because we're so used to the aggro, just pushing Oaks, flashing them, taking them down, yeah. Uh, that's great. And Tuckbok, wow, well, he's doing brilliantly. I mean, I saw him on Inferno. Very nice support as well from, from the uh, train map. And um, uh, what was it before? Cobblestone, eh? Yeah, so he does very nice support as well as entry frag or yeah. when you need to. And a very nice support play on, on B at least. Yeah, he's definitely our, our clutch in the team. If, if we need someone to win a round, he's going to do it for us. And um, in terms of the addition for him, it's perfect. It's working out perfect. We love him as a player. We love him as a person. We're enjoying we're just enjoying the whole team and the team vibe, it's great. I can imagine obviously after joining and the bit of a change up, I mean how did Tuckbook come about? Obviously a rather unknown player compared to a lot of the different uh, options you could have selected or tried out. How did it end up being Tuckbook? I don't, I don't even know, to be honest. Like, um, I, I, he's, he played well in pugs, you know how it goes in South Africa. We don't have like a lot of... Like, Rating systems. Exactly. Yeah. So we, we knew he was Afrikaans and we needed, <laughs> we needed to pick up someone who's going to gel with, well within the team. And it was a good pick. It was probably the best pick. Unexpected but brilliant. Yeah. And the last thing for you, to, uh, what is happening now? What are you going to feel? What's your prep for tomorrow? What is the, the plan for you guys? How, what's going through your mind? What are you thinking? We're, we're just glad for to be through the winners bracket, but uh, we're not really prepping. We're probably just going to go home, sleep, and just wake up fresh. Yeah. Well, I must admit, if I had to watch that game all over again, your picks, your plays, those that save round that you guys pulled back on Inferno two, led by you with the two double kills each time, brilliant. Well done again, and we'll see you in the grand finals. Thank you.